What's up, guys? As luck would have it, I have recently come across a little bit of free time. Um, some of you may have seen my most recent crash. Pretty nasty, but what that means is that I actually have time to answer some of you guys' questions. And by far the biggest question that I've gotten so far is how do I stabilize my footage? I don't have a gimbal, so a lot of my footage is really shaky when I get it back, um, and then I'm just able to stabilize it in post-production. Um, you can do this with a lot of software. I've done it with Final Cut, I've done it with Premiere, uh, and said, hey, I'm going to show you how to do it with After Effects. Um, this is going to be a short, sweet tutorial, and I'm going to assume that you kind of know your way around After Effects already. Um, so let me know if you have any questions, but otherwise, let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to the Project tab, uh, double click to open up a new clip. Uh, Shaky Clip is the one that I'm using today. Uh, this is what it looks like right now with no effects. It's pretty shaky. On uh, something like this, I will almost automatically go ahead and uh, put a little stabilization on. Yeah, it, it, you might as well. I figure it does more good than harm. So I think it's a good use of your time. So with your clip selected, uh, you go up to the Animation tab, and then you can scroll down to Warp Stabilizer VFX. I'm in Adobe CC. If you're in version CS6, it'll just be called Warp Stabilizer. It's the same thing. If you're in CS5, you should probably update. Um, same goes for 3 and 4, obviously. Um, so up here you can see kind of the pace it's going to take. It shows you the percentage and how many frames it's gone through and needs to go through. Uh, it takes a pretty long time. In the meantime, I'll show you just a couple effects that I like to work with a little bit. These are both from Red Giant. Uh, this one's just called Misfire Vignette. It just adds a vignette effect. I'm a sucker for vignettes, so I almost always add them. And this one's Mojo. It just basically makes your colors pop a little more. Gives it kind of more of a cinematic look, I guess. Um, you can play around with the colors as much as you want. But yeah, anyway, these are two fun little color correction plugins that I use uh, pretty frequently. It looks like it is actually going to take quite a bit longer than I was expecting. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead just so you guys don't have to wait. So my clip is finished. Um, once it's done, it's done. Basically, you're done. It's stabilized. And uh, you can play around with different uh, parts in here. The smoothness is a big one. I've got it up to 75 right now, which is pretty high, but it was a pretty shaky clip. The default is 50, and I usually just stick with that. The main difference that you'll notice is how far it zooms in. Um, the way it stabilizes is just by zooming in so it can figure out the dominant motion and then stick to that motion without having black around the edges. Um, but anyway, that's nerdy stuff, and the point is, it looks pretty good. So by no means is it perfect. Um, you can still see, you know, my, my motions that I made, my steering motions when I turn left or right. Um, there's still going to be a little bit of shake in there, but I think it makes a significant difference in how professional your footage looks. Uh, and it's definitely one of the first things that I do when I get my footage back and I like a shot. Um, and it's definitely something that I would recommend you try. As always, thank you very much for watching. Check out some of my other videos and make sure you click subscribe. I got a lot more cool stuff coming out soon. Thanks, guys.